Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have 30 times of 31 times of 32 times of 33 and plus 1. Uh, so here we need to find the square root of this nice number. Okay. Uh, so here the very first step we are going to do is first in order to find uh, the square root of this number, we need some simplification inside the square root. Uh, and we have uh, here we rewrite this algebraic expression as so this is 30 uh, and it is multiplied by 31 so we write this 31 as 30 plus 1 and after that we have multiplied by 32 we write this 32 as 30 plus 2 and it is multiplied by 33 we write 33 as 30 plus 3 and after that we have this is plus 1 okay uh, so here uh, further in the next step you see here each of these term involves 30 so that uh, now we will uh, take here uh, y equals to 30 so when we take y equals 30 so that our above expression is written as so uh, in which uh, we can substitute 30 equals to y so this will be written as uh, y times of uh, y plus 1 times of uh, y plus 2 times of uh, y plus 3 and plus 1 okay so here we substitute each 30 equals to y so that uh, our above algebraic expression written in this form so now here we have uh, these are some factors which are multiplied by each other here we will uh, uh, we will just rearrange the terms uh, so uh, here uh, we apply an important uh, fact uh, which you already know about that uh, if we have multiplication of some factors in this way uh, x plus a x plus b x plus c into x plus d and plus k if you have some factors which are multiplied by in this way uh, then uh, here you you need to add these these two pair of numbers okay so in which uh, if you add a plus b and its answer equals to c plus d then you rearrange all of these factors in this way it means that here you see that uh, this y is addition by 0 we write this y as y plus 0 okay so here you have 0 and 1 0 plus 1 becomes 1 and 2 plus 3 becomes 5 so uh, 1 is not equals to 5 but here uh, if we rearrange these factors and if we add 1 plus 2 if we add these two uh, numbers 1 plus 2 becomes 3 and 0 plus 3 is also becomes 3 so then you get the equal answer so that we rearrange these numbers according to this fact uh, and we write our uh, above expression as so first we need to make compare of this y with y plus 3 and it will be written as y times of y plus 3 and we make these two factors as pair y plus 1 into y plus 3 and this is our plus 1. And now in the next step here we need to multiply these two factors and these two factors as well so here first we need to multiply these two factors so when you multiply y times of this you get here a y square plus 3y and when we multiply these two factors then we obtain uh, y square plus 3y plus y plus 3 here we multiply this y on both of these terms after that we multiply this one on both of these terms and we will obtain in this way and this is our plus uh, 1 okay further we have uh, we need two simplifications here and uh, we rewrite this as uh, y square plus 3y times of uh, here we have y square plus 3y plus y equals to uh, this will becomes 4y. Uh, sorry, here we have little mistake. We make the pair of y plus 1 and y plus 2. So this is our y plus 2. Okay, so when you multiply this by here, this will becomes 2y and this will becomes also 2. So this will be written as 2y plus y equals to 3y and this is plus 2 and plus 1. 
so if you make uh, the rearrangement of factors correctly in this way then in all of this type of questions you will get this these values are same okay uh, so here uh, these values will become the same and now we again take x is equals to y square plus 3y so when you take x equals y square plus 3y so that our above algebraic expression is written as this is x times of this will become the x plus 2 and this is over plus 1 okay uh, and now uh, in the next step here we need more simplifications and uh, we need to multiply this x on these two terms and it will be written as uh, x square plus 2x plus 1 so this is this will becomes uh, quadratic in x variable and now here uh, we easily make the factors of this quadratic equation so that now you focus on inside the square root sign and here we have this is x square plus we write this 2x as 2 times of x into 1 and plus we write this one as 1 square. So here we need uh, to apply here another nice algebraic formula. You know about this formula if we have uh, a plus b whole square equals to a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square. So here we apply this nice algebraic formula. So according to this algebraic formula we write our um, above expression as in this form. So this will be written as uh, x plus 1 whole square. Okay. So this 2 and square root are gone and this will be equals to x plus 1. And now here we need to back substitute the value of x plus 1. So you see here our x is equals to y square plus 3y. And we will just put this value of uh, uh, x is equals to here. And it will be written as uh, y square plus 3y and this is plus uh, 1. So here if we, uh, we move uh, more backward uh, then you see here we have the value of y is equals to 30. Uh, so that now we can substitute here uh, this y equals to 30 and it will be written as uh, this will becomes here 30 square plus 3 times of 30 and plus 1 okay so now here we need to simplify uh, this algebraic expression so uh, here we need to first find the square of 30 uh, so in order to find the square of, uh, square of 30 we need to multiply these two values here 0 times of 0 0 0 times of 3 becomes 3 3 times of 0 is 0 3 times of 3 becomes 9 so it means that uh, the square of 30 equals to 900 and plus 3 times of 3 becomes 9 and it will become 90 and plus 1 so here uh, if we use the traditional method of addition in order to uh, add all of these values so 900 plus 90 plus 1 equals to uh, 991 so this is the our final answer of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos